Hi, I'm Yuan of J Artworks, and in this video, I will be talking about how to get started with art. Now, the first thing that I think that you should ask yourself is what is it that you want to do? What is the subject matter that you want to illustrate? Differentiating between if you want to draw or paint or sculpt people or landscapes will be a vital part in knowing where to start out with art. Me, myself, for example, got very inspired growing up by uh, computer games uh, and video games where I saw all these cool characters. And I thought to myself, wow, if I could draw that, uh, that would be really cool. So maybe I didn't think about it too much, but there was a starting point. I wanted to draw characters. And so that's what I ended up doing and uh, perfecting to the best of my ability so far. So that's the thing. Sometimes you can feel like you don't know what you want to do, but then it's, I think it's a good idea to be looking at or consider what are your inspirations? What is it that you go back to look at on an everyday basis? Many times those things are rooted in our subconsciousness and we can find out something about ourselves if you just think about the kind of habits we have. What is it that I like to look at? So that's what I would recommend that you do. Find out if it's what kind of things you uh, get inspired by. Now, some examples could be uh, caricatures, um, landscape paintings. It could be comic book uh, styles. Maybe you read a lot of uh, Batman, I don't know. But um, identifying that will set you on a good first square one to begin. The next thing you should consider after you've figured out what it is that you want to uh, illustrate, what you want to portray in your art, is what kind of materials are you gonna need? Now, obviously there's going to be uh, strengths and weaknesses with uh, depending on which material you uh, choose to use. And there's nothing wrong with trying out a bunch of different ones, but some examples are acrylic paint, uh, watercolor, uh, oil paint. Uh, I myself uh, paint digitally and then I have a tablet for my computer. So I am drawing slash painting in Photoshop. Um, now I think something that's good to consider there is that there will be um, different costs uh, for you related to the materials you used and that can differ greatly. It can be a big investment in the beginning to, um, if you don't have a good uh, laptop or computer to paint, to use Photoshop in, it can be uh, expensive to buy a new one. And of course the, the tablet uh, cost a little bit of money. I think mine went for around 50 euros maybe, but it has made it so that I have not had to um, pay so much more than that in the long run. If I, as long as my computer works and as long as the tablet works, I don't really have to pay anything except for the electricity I use or when I want to print something. And uh, if I would be painting traditionally, uh, I would have to get canvases and I would have to get paint and brushes. So consider what's your thing, what do you, what kind of yeah, style do you like if you want to mainly draw um, in, in a grayscale, maybe get a bunch of different pencils that are different uh, degrees of hardness or softness in them. <laughs> And um, yeah, just consider what it is, the sort of expression that you like and take it from there. Now, 
I have talked a little bit about um, how it was for me, uh, but I can I can extend it a little bit. Uh, I, when I was very little, I really liked to draw like uh, dinosaurs, um, and so it was just uh, you know your average kid drawing with a pencil and then coloring it with color pencils, and then suppose I continued drawing um, but it was not until I was uh, maybe 12 13 when I started taking it a little bit more seriously where I went to um, drawing lessons and that really helped me out because that gave me something someone who, it gave me an opportunity to have a drawing teacher who could um, correct me if there was something wrong with the anatomy I was uh, drawing or there was a strong focus on um, character drawing which benefited me greatly because I was very into uh, characters but so um, that became a, uh, a point where I was able to focus uh, on something and I think because of focusing on uh, you know how to sketch the human body uh, and a face. Um, I, I had a good ground to stand on and if I had not taken that more focused path then I think that I would have maybe not pursued it as much as I ended up doing in the end. So even after uh, I no longer attended drawing lessons anymore after some years I still have a lot of those routines in my head with me and I know how to teach myself if that makes any sense I know how to teach myself how to um, draw things if I don't know how to draw them from before and um, later on um, I got curious about starting with digital painting and um, I found that it was quite uh, similar to simply drawing with a pencil. So it made sense for me to continue on that path. I think I started uh, drawing, painting digitally when I was maybe 14, 15 for the first time. And I have not looked back uh, since then. Uh, I, I really like this medium and I really feel like I've found my thing. So I hope that you can find your thing and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.